Biodiversity Crisis of Amphibians and Reptiles by Valeria Polio. A cause of biodiversity crisis. Many of the world's woods, jungles, and rainforests have been observed to have suffered from many calamities over the previous couple of years, but specifically deforestation. There are several reasons why firms are reducing deforestation, which is the process of cutting down and clearing out areas full of trees. One of the major drawbacks of deforestation is that many animals will lose their habitats and homes because so many trees are being taken down. The biodiversity of amphibians and reptiles have declined significantly as a result of the widespread deforestation of rainforests. Deforestation is a process that is going to become ever more prevalent as it continues to occur. Loss of habitat. Deforestation has been observed to increase and become more prevalent with time, particularly in nations that are seeking to develop and grow while also being in close proximity to vast types of vegetation like a rainforest or jungle. Numerous creatures, particularly amphibians and reptiles, have lost their habitat and safety as a result of the increased frequency of deforestation. Amphibians are directly impacted by the surrounding deforestation in a number of ways, including the, lo the loss of habitat that results from this which makes them more vulnerable to illnesses. It is possible for diseases that are present in other types of vegetation to arise and infect those animals when huge volumes of trees and plants that serve as a home and protect them for, uh, for a particular species of amphibians are chopped down or eliminated. There will be a significant loss in these amphibians biodiversity as illnesses spread which will have a variety of negative effects on the ecosystem of that region the importance of trees a study discovered that animals that naturally disperse seeds which enable trees and other vegetation to grow were the animals that were less vulnerable to habitat loss and that their biodiversity was not as disrupted as that of animals who do not disperse seeds. As a result, it is possible to directly observe the decline in populations of particular species of amphibians and reptiles, since most amphibians and reptiles do not naturally disperse seeds. They are unable to support or promote the growth of additional plants, and as a result of their inability to do so, they have lost their environment. Climate change effects. Since climate change is a direct result of the effects of deforestation and fracking, it, is an impact, it has an impact on the fauna and flora in the area specifically amphibians and reptiles. Climate change can cause a rise in temperature, a loss of vegetation, and or a decrease in water availability, all of which have had an adverse impact on amphibians and reptiles of all kinds that are native to the area. Reasons for deforestation. Deforestation is more frequently observed in the Amazon jungle, particularly in the regions closest to Brazil. The primary cause of deforestation in Brazil is the desire of many people to grow or acquire more land in order to profit from that land that they would once get once that region is wiped off. Oil mining which would be feasible when specific areas have been cleared, is the second most important factor to deforestation. Deforestation has somewhat become unlawful in Brazil, 
due to the large number of people seeking to earn something through the exploitation of additional land. But this does not mean that it is not still occurring. Brazilian individuals and the government have made it illegal because they've come to the realization that it's become an issue that affects not just them, but also the Amazon and the creatures that dwell there. But as this goes on, it tends to reduce the available habitat for amphibians and reptiles, as well as their food supply. The longer this continues, the more their biodiversity will deteriorate. And we will observe a decline in the population of some amphibian and reptile species. The environments in which some of them dwell will be significantly impacted if some species go extinct. Its effects. The effects that could result from the decline in reptile and amphibian populations include the disruption of the coexisting ecosystem, which may result in the emergence of new animal species because some reptiles or amphibians are no longer consuming them, or the overgrowth of a particular type of vegetation that may outgrow or obstruct the growth of many nearby vegetation. Conclusion. We can see that deforestation is one of the main causes of the loss in the biodiversity of amphibians and reptiles. Even though there may be other factors at play, the consequences of our decisions on the environment will determine how vital it is to monitor those effects in the future. Many people might not be aware of this, but an ecosystem has a domino effect. If one portion starts to break down, the rest will follow. The ecology in which amphibians and reptiles reside may be disrupted, and this is how it may be seen with the reduction in biodiversity of those species. These are the sources that I used when researching and presenting my oral presentation. And thank you for listening to my presentation.